Hi guys, how you guys been? Welcome back to our butterfly family to a new video. Life in a world that keeps changing. Think that it's progress you're making. Copy and paste pretty faces all the time. So before we begin, don't forget to go hit that subscribe button. Give me a big thumbs up. That helps uh, YouTube recommend my videos to other people. So I've been wanting to strengthen my hair and I've been seeing requests from you guys asking for me to straighten my hair but honestly someone that has curly hair it's not the healthiest to be straightening your hair especially if you're letting your hair grow my hair has lately been more dry but i think it's the change of weather um and many other factors um but i do need a hair trim so I made it a thing that I will be straining my hair every three to four months and in those times that I straighten my hair I will be trimming my hair a little bit so I just got out of the shower and <laughs> I know stringy hair well it's still wet obviously so the when i decide that i want to strengthen my hair i start preparing it a week before or even a couple weeks before and i have a mirror over here so if you see me looking over here it's because of them so I've been doing my own aloe vera um, hair mask like about twice a month maybe three times a month and it's basically just the aloe vera gel I buy the leaf and then I just um or the plank however you call it and I just scrape off the aloe vera and I've been adding um, castor oil and coconut oil to it. And I try to leave it on for about two hours. So I did that today. And in the shower, I washed my hair with the Maui Moisture Hair Care Fortifying plus hemp seed oil shampoo for dry brittle hair and this will strengthen your hair and soften and since I'm going to be putting heat in my hair I need all the moisture and strengthen and for conditioner I just use the head and shoulders uh, repair and protect hair and scalp conditioner And I left this on for like the rest of the shower. So I'm going to use the Tresemme Keratin Smooth Heat Protectant. Sit on your ends. And I don't strengthen my hair right away. I let my hair dry at least 90%. So I just brush this out. Oh, on the, the when I do strengthen my hair, I will be measuring my hair to show you guys my hair growth journey so 
so I run out of memory, but since I've been growing out my hair for, well, I've been transitioning for two years, but it's been it's been about nine months since I did my big chomp. And I see a difference, guys. I really do see a difference in my curl texture and in my hair growth. It hasn't grown as long or as fast as I would like it, but we're, we are getting there. So I will do a more detailed video on what I'm doing to grow out my hair. If you guys want me to, then just comment down below. So I've been doing this for a while now. I found this um, keratin, keratin smoothing treatment, intense smoothing effect, perfectly straight style, impeccable shine by the brand Sculpt Hair. Now, if you add this, this will help you get really straight hair. And I put this all over my hair. And even after I'm done straining my hair, I put this on and it just helps give me more shine so I'm going to let my hair dry a little bit and then I'll come back and start showing you guys how I get my smooth straight hair so I'm going to start by sectioning my hair. So an important thing to getting your hair super straight is you sectioning your hair. And usually, well, back then, my hair looked, it was harder to straighten, straighten, because I feel like back then I had a lot more hair and a lot more curlier. I'll try to insert some pictures of uh, when my hair was a lot longer and it was, I would strain it. Oh, it looked so pretty. I know a lot of you guys, or uh, yeah, a lot of you guys say I look pretty with straight hair. My mom doesn't really like me straining, straining my hair. Just because it creates damage. But she's always like that. She tells me not to do it. But she does straighten her hair. Or do whatever she wants to do to her hair. So my hair is still pretty kind of wet. But I'm going to start heating up my hair straighteners. So I do use two different ones. So this one is the Alexis Pro by Mariana. This I got it when I was in cosmetology school. But if I can find it, I'll link it down below. And it goes 
up to 445 but let's do let's do 410 and this one I believe I got it on Amazon and it's the Beauty Forever Kinga it's like a hairbrush I got it I got this like years ago and we'll put it all the way up I don't know what's the I believe it goes to 200 I think that's what it says so let this heat up and this one I like it because it gets close to my roots I do feel like it leaves it a little bit more on the frizzy sign but we'll see how our hair turns out today so I'm going to begin with the the strainer brush and hopefully you guys can see so this is how it looks like So it's looking a little bit frizzy. What I like about this is that it doesn't, you can get it close to your ear and it won't really burn you like you can touch it and it it just gets hot like in the in the middle I'm gonna go in with this now. So for me, it's harder to get the back pieces because of, um, I don't have a lot of um movement like um I'm very stiff I turn to
even for 10 is not enough so I am going to go to 445 It's getting pretty stray, I think. So I'm going to fast forward the rest of this and then I'll come back once I get to the top sections. Okay, so now we are to the top section. I'm sorry if the lighting changes, it's because it's already getting dark outside. So today I will do a middle parting. So the top section is still wet, but we will make it work. Okay, I think I'll let the hair dry a tiny bit.
You also kind of have to go in slowly. I know some people do the chase method with like a comb. I don't. It's kind of hard for me to do that. The back section So I might just not use that one anymore and then I'll just stick with this one. Okay, I don't know where it stomped. I thought I was recording. So let me finish this and I'll be right. So I just switched to the shirt that I did with like measurements so I can measure my hair. Still looks a little bit puffy, but Let me know down in the comment section below what you guys think. And I don't even know how people make their straight hair last a whole week because I can barely make it last two days. So I am going to add some oil. I've been adding the jojoba oil. This is closest to what our scalp produces. So just a couple drops. So I was going to trim my hair, but I think I'll just trim it tomorrow. And I think that will be its own separate video also. You guys can see. Where it lands. Oh, let me turn. So it lands like in the three inches mark. So it's getting there. My goal for next time is five or six inch mark. Okay guys, well, this is the end result of my hair. My hair looks and feels so soft. So I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. For any other future videos, just comment down below. And don't forget to give me a big thumbs up. And yeah, stay tuned for the hair cutting 
the hair trimming part my hair actually feels and doesn't look like it needs a hair trim but I'm going to either way give myself a hair trim so with all my loves I hope you guys enjoyed today's video don't forget to subscribe and give me a thumbs up and remember that we are all beautiful in our own way don't let anyone tell you or make you feel any less 